my dear friend, it was St. Pope John Paul II in 1982 who said that in the design of providence, there are no mere coincidences. Yes, in divine plan, there are no mere coincidences. This episode ought to be episode 47 in our ninth season of I Believe series. This episode, we ought to be talking, reflecting, discussing the title of Mary as mother of the church because this season is, I believe, in the Holy Catholic Church. And so we cannot conclude our reflection on the Holy Catholic Church without talking of Mary, the mother of the church. But as I was preparing for this recording, shortly before now, I heard a voice which made me to change my mind. What did this say to me? Hold on. Are you aware that next week, 7th of September, Monday, 7th of September, we begin a new novena, novena in honor of Our Lady of Sorrows. Are you aware of that? We are going to celebrate on the 15th of September, Our Lady, the Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows. And so to prepare for that celebration, we do nine days intensive prayer, asking her to intercede for us. And so the voice said to me, you are beginning an episode on the mother of the church. Next week, we are beginning novena in her honor. Why not begin by introducing the novena, this episode? And then next week, you continue with the discussion on Mary, mother of the church. Because some people who may not have known that there is novena and who may not have participated with this introduction, they will participate. That made me to change my mind. And now I'm talking about Novena. Novena in honor of Our Lady of Sorrows. What are the sorrows of Mary? In Luke chapter 2, verse 43, we hear the prophecy of Simeon. Okay, Luke chapter 2, from verse 25 to, to 35, we hear of the prophecy of Simeon, that a sword will pierce your soul, the first sorrow. In Matthew chapter 2, from verse 13 to 15, after Jesus was born, Herod sought to kill the child Jesus, but Mary and Joseph took a flight into Egypt with the child Jesus, the second sorrow. Then, in Luke chapter 2, from verse 43 to 51, for three days, Jesus was missing in the temple. The third sorrow. In Luke chapter 23, verse 27, Jesus was already condemned and he was carrying his cross, going to... Calvary to die and Mary meets him in that condition the fourth sorrow in John chapter 19 from verse 25 to 27 standing beneath the cross Mary witnessed the crucifixion of her son the fifth sorrow in John chapter 19 verse 38 Jesus died, and his dead body was brought down and given to his mother. The sixth sorrow. In John chapter 19, from verse 39 to 42, Jesus was prepared and then was laid in the tomb. The seventh sorrow. And so this novena is to tell you that Whatever you are passing through, Mary had experienced it before you. Mary had been there. And because she had been there, she can, she does, and she will intercede for you, as she did in at Cana, in the wedding at Cana. John chapter 2, from verse 1 to 11. Mary intercedes. What are you experiencing? Are you in want? 
this novena is for you. Are you sick and in need of healing? This novena is for you. Are you in search of someone or something? This novena is for you. Are you heartbroken, disappointed, devastated? You are bereaved. You are seeking for comfort, for consolation. This novena is for you. What sorrow are you experiencing? Mary has been there before you, and this novena is for you because she's ready to intercede for you. What do you need to do? Send your petitions through our website, www.sentjudeyaba.com. And then, beginning from Monday, 7th of September, to Tuesday, 15th of September, at 8 p.m., tune in. In, to any of our channels, Facebook or YouTube, as St. Jude Yaba, St. Jude Yaba, for the live streaming of Novena Talks and Prayers. Three masses will be offered for your intentions daily. You are encouraged to send stipends and offering as well. I don't know what your sorrow is. I pray for you that even before the Novena begins, May our Lady of Sorrows, who has been there where you are now, intercede for you. May God, who always listens to her, at the wedding in Cana, it was not the time, not the hour for Jesus to do his miracles, but on account of her being the mother of Jesus, the mother of God, and on account of her intercession, Jesus listened. May he as well listen to her intercessions on your behalf and take away that sorrow from you and fill you with joy. And as we begin this new month, may joy, may peace, may consolation, may answers to prayers be your experiences this new month and beyond. We make these prayers in faith through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And through the prayers of our Lady of Sorrows and St. Jude Thaddeus, may Almighty God graciously bless you and keep you the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. See you 7th of September as we begin Novena in honor of Our Lady of Sorrows. Thank you.